Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The IBF mandatory challenger Kubrat Pulev says he is sorry about that kiss and if he could take it back, he wouldn't have planted that kiss on Jenny Sushi Rivalo. Pulev has faced a wave of criticism since that kiss and he's even had his boxing license stripped. And later in this video, I will get to some of his efforts to regain that license from the California State Athletic Commission. So we'll get to some of his comments in a sit-down interview first, and then to some thoughts. Buckle in. Let's go. So Kubrat Pulev has sat down with a Bulgarian TV outlet and given an interview in which he said a number of things, including he's sorry for the kiss. Also, a number of other statements saying what's happening now is not moral. Also, he says if he could take it back, he would. So what I've done is I've gone through and done a little bit of a montage here with the, the captions, but to make it easier, save you from doing the work, I will read this out as we go along in this little montage. The full version of the interview, which is about 10 minutes long, is on a YouTube channel called SP Detectors. SP Detectors. But we'll crack into the montage now. So Kubrat Pulev says, everybody saluting me, everyone hugging and kissing me, want to take pictures. I am open-minded. I am friendly with everybody. I am positive. This is normal for me. I am not drinking after the match. I was watching my own game, checking my performance. I was analyzing my game. A couple of times she comes sit next to me. Same night I say to her, hey, this was joke. Can you remove the kiss from the interview? I'm not sure what kind of reporter she is. She did not get any interviews at the party night. I did not want to say anything bad about her. I do not hate her. I still got good feelings for her, even so they attack me and say lies. What they are doing is not moral. Because there are really a lot of women who are real victims of sexual abuse, but this is not the case here. I say what I think. Yes, I am sorry for what happened. If I can go back, I will not do it again. I am the kind of man I did it from happiness and joy. I am sorry for this, but the thing is, I did it because of what happened that night. There is nothing sexual or abuse in this. I have no bad feelings for them. I believe she is not a bad person. Someone just gave her bad ideas. I will say I don't hate you. I will say I love you. I believe one day we will be friends. That's Kubrat Pulev talking on Bulgarian TV about this uh, incident of the kiss and then the accusations from Jenny Sushi Rivalo, in which she says after the kiss, which was unwanted, that he allegedly groped her buttocks. And then later on, she went to the after party as she claims to interview fighters. Although Pulev has disputed this, uh, releasing footage from the after party showing um, what could be deemed as very interesting interview techniques. And Jenny Sushi herself has been rather muted on social media in particular since this incident, since she had that press conference with Gloria Allred. Although there was someone who on her Twitter account, which is locked in private, uh, she said, someone said to her, Sushi, you are a legend. That lap dance was legendary, and the lap dance that he's talking about is this one here. And her response was, Baha, and there was uh, laughing emojis, three of them. You can see that here on screen. So apart from that, uh, it's been very quiet on the sort of Western front with this. Although Kubrat Pulev, in the wake of this, because he was suspended by the California State Athletic Commission for his conduct, there is going to be a hearing in May. He's also released a statement via Pulev Sport in which he says he wants his boxing license back. So Kubrat Pulev's uh, team has sent an official protest to the Athletic Commission of the State of California, which temporarily took the racing rights of the Bulgarian boxer. This happened because of the prosecution of sexual assault against him by reporter Jenny Rivalo, also known as the Queen of Naked Sushi. So this is translated from Bulgarian, so it's not completely perfect, but I'm sure you can get the gist of it here. So it continues. Soon the text will become a fact in public, as Gloria Allred did, the lawyer of Rivalo shared the manager, Ivalo Gotsev, who is also one of the cronies of Pulev, communicates with top rank and cooperates for the comfort stay of brothers Pulev behind the ocean. 
the hearing of Kubrat Pulev, who was contender number one for the title of the International Boxing Federation, in brackets IBF, in front of the commission is scheduled for May 14th. So there is going to be this hearing on May 14th where Jenny Rivalo, through her lawyer, Gloria Allred, will put the case about what's happened here. They'll give some uh, a submission of some sort, some testimony about what's gone on here. Uh, what's going to come out of that process, we don't really know. But Kubrat Pulev had his license suspended. He is going to defend this. He says that his team has put, sent an official protest to the Athletic Commission, and that is being heard on the 14th of May. Whether Kubrat Pulev um, actually ad attends in person, it's hard to say. Probably unlikely. He'll have some representatives there, no doubt. But also associated with this whole situation is an appeal that was filed from Bogdan Dinu's promoter, Greg Cohen, uh, because of the punches behind the back of the head that he said altered the course of the fight and ultimately Pulev won the fight. Uh, he alleges because of the punches to the back of the head while Bogdan Dinu was down, uh, while, while he was bobbing down, but also on the ground after the first knockdown. So he is going to appeal that, try to get the result overturned, and that is also penciled in for May. So there's a bit going on with this, this situation, but Kubrat Pulev, um, he is saying now that he is sorry, but there's a bit of a but here. He says what's happening to him is, you know, not moral, that uh, lies are being told about him, and he is going to defend himself. Uh, remember also when they released that footage uh, from the after party, that 10 second clip of Jenny Rivalo, they did say that they had more footage and they were prepared to use it. That was put out in an official statement. So really the sort of throwing the gauntlet down that if this continues, if um, they don't like where this is going, that more footage will be released. So very interesting times for Kubrat Pulev, who uh, is going to try to get his boxing license back. Uh, this will be discussed at this hearing on the 14th of May. And that is also the hearing, I believe, that there is going to be the evidence submitted or submissions from Gloria Allred on behalf of Jenny Sushi Rivalo. Plus also grappling with um, the result potentially being overturned on appeal. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment, loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.